Hi guys, so for today's video, we're just gonna get right into it. I want to show you how I made this little spell book with the skeleton on top of it. I've seen these everywhere, but they're just so expensive. And I made them with mostly Dollar Tree items and some Walmart items. So I really wanted to show you guys this and take my time and make sure you guys see exactly what I did. This is probably going to be my last Halloween little DIY video. I do plan on doing a house tour, but other than that, we're going to get right into Christmas after this video. So I just wanted to kind of prepare you guys for this, and if you want to see how I made this little skeleton spell book, just keep on watching. So I just went ahead and picked up the biggest book, biggest, thickest book I could find at Dollar Tree and then I looked at the page and found the middle page parting of the book so I could have it open evenly and what I'm going to do after that is I'm just going to lay the book upside down and stick these jumble popsicle sticks on it. I got these at Walmart and this is just going to kind of try to hold it open so it doesn't shut and it's not flimsy. I'm also trying to hide the book title because I feel like I'm disrespecting the author a little bit, but I feel like I also didn't do a very good job at hiding that. So just go ahead and glue your popsicle sticks on. I believe I glued the three on. I am you. <laughs> What I'm doing here is I realized that when I flipped the book over, the popsicle sticks kind of came unglued. So I'm just lifting it up and putting the glue underneath it and then pressing the book down to kind of secure the popsicle sticks a little bit better. And now I wanted the pages to stick. Obviously we're going to be putting clay over it, but I wanted them just to kind of stick down and not be flimsy. So I'm just taking some Mod Podge and giving both edges of the book a really thick coat of Mod Podge. And then I'm just giving that time to dry. Now I'm taking this air drying sculpting clay. Make sure it is air drying, guys, because obviously you can't put a book in the oven. And I got this at Walmart. I got a good chunk of it. And I'm also using this glass water bottle because I don't have a little roller. As embarrassing as that is, I am a 22-year-old adult who doesn't have a cooking roller. But I'm just rolling this out to a good thickness, not too thin and not too thick, and I'm going to take this and put it over the edges of the book. And now this was kind of complicated guys, you just have to kind of match it up and stick it. I used hot glue to secure it where I needed it to because obviously the clay is not dry yet. So I used hot glue for the time being and then I also used this little silicone spatula that I actually picked up from Dollar Tree to kind of just smooth out the clay and help place it and also to push it on the inside of the book because it was kind of hard to get my fingers down in there. So you just have to kind of work at it, match it up with your book, smooth it out along the way and then you also just have to take clay and piece it together. You guys will see everything that I did. So for this part, I did take my box cutter knife and I just cut off the clay on the top, except for the little lip, because you don't want that to fall. And then I did take and cut off the entire thing on the side, because we're going to be putting clay over the entirety of the top and it's going to fold over onto the book sides. So I didn't really want to have to push things together and smooth them out. It's kind of like doing a puzzle, you just have to pinch it, smooth it, press on it, mold it together, and that's just about it guys. It's very time consuming but it was so worth it and I believe the clay was only four dollars the book was a dollar and the embellishments were only about three dollars tops so it was a lot cheaper and really really worth the time you just have to be super patient with it because I will be honest with you guys I did almost give up on this project but just keep on watching and I'll kinda show you guys how I pushed them all together and put it all over the book
So after I got done smoothing the edges out, I did just take my little scraper here and I made the little book lines with it. I did try my box cutter knife and it did cut a little too deep. So this is what I used. I'm sure there's so much things that you guys could use for this if you don't have one of these on hand. And I didn't make the pages clean at all. I made it messy, but I kind of thought that it would add to the whole old antique looking part of the book. And then after rolling out a decent sized piece of the clay, I'm just gonna start applying all this onto the top of the book, matching it up with the sides and everything that I've already did, and just taking my green spatula and pushing it and molding it down. And that's pretty much it, guys. I just use my box cutter knife here to cut along the edge, because all you really do is you take your finger or the spatula and you just kind of push it together and eventually it does come together. You just have to really work at it, but it is so worth it.
when you finally do get all the clay placed on where you want it. I believe I let my book dry for a good four to five days because it did still feel wet until then. And what I'm showing you guys now is it did crack after it dried and on the inside seam it did kind of shrink up. I didn't mind it because I am going to be Mod Podging some scrapbook paper on it and the cracks just kind of gave it that weathered look. And I'm taking the Waverly Antique Wax Paint and I'm just going to go ahead and put this on with a baby wipe. I just thought it gave it a really cool color, kind of like the other books that I was inspired with. And it didn't get into the cracks. So what I did, and you guys will see, is I took my paintbrush and I dabbed into the cracks so that the paint got into them. And then I just took the wipe and went over it so it wasn't as dark and blotchy. And that's what I did for the entirety of the book. I just did the same thing. Same with the lines on the side of the book until it was completely covered with the paint.
I just went on Google and typed in old spell book pages and I liked this one the most of them all. I did find two that look similar and I'm just taking my lighter and kind of burning around the edges to just make it look a little more worn down. I do want to let those of you know who are watching it that are not adults to be very careful and make sure that you're getting help. You don't want to burn your house down. But I just kind of burned it until how I liked how it looked. And then that was about it for the distressing of the pages. And after that I'm just going to apply it to the book with some Mod Podge and stick it on. And as you can see here, I'm just going ahead and putting a coat of Mod Podge over it to just make sure it kind of lays down and stays nice. And then I'm just kind of showing you guys what you could put on there. You could do spiders or anything. I decided to go with the skull. I actually got this from Five Below for $2 and I didn't like the spider web on there. So I just went ahead and took that off. And then I thought that the skeleton kind of looked a little too new as per se for the texture and color of the book. So I just went and took the same paint, the antique wax, and I kind of went over it with a paintbrush and then rubbed it on with my fingers and just kind of made them look dirty. And I kept messing with them until I liked how he looked. I'm just going to go ahead and take some E6000 and some hot glue and apply it to the areas I was just showing you guys because that is where he's going to be touching the book and be careful because it is a little slippery as you see with the E6000 and just go ahead and stick them on and then I take the glue underneath and kind of just stick them in areas where the glue didn't quite reach that way he's sturdy. I took these spiders that I had on hand they're just from little floral picks from Dollar Tree and then I did end up taking that spider that was on his head when he had the spider web on him and just putting that right back on his head. 
and that's it guys that is all for this i hope you like how it turned out and that you're inspired to make one please 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 tag me in your recreations i would love to see them i will link my instagram handle below thank you guys so much for watching